Well, got the board out fine, but there's other stuff in here that I wasn't anticipating. Uh, whoa, what is this? Yeah, let me see this. What the hell? That's some part of the... Oh, God. You know, it's never as easy as they show you in the YouTube videos. Oh, whoa, jeez. What is this thing? That thing right there is all gacked up sideways, so now i got to figure out how to get that back in right or else that window is never going to close right. This one's okay, though. In the meantime, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut through some of these nails. On this side too, there's all this other junk in there. Maybe the all this extra wood that I wasn't really anticipating seeing. I thought the sill was just gonna come clean out, but it was either glued or stapled to uh, a bunch of other stuff. So it's like all this crap in here. I don't know what the hell it is, and I don't know if I'm doing any harm by taking it out, but it's going to come out. Okay, so as you can see, now we're kind of like right down to the window framing. We got wallboard there. This is this obviously the stool on the no the apron on the inside of the window. And then there's a little tar paper right here. So I don't know, I guess I'll try to run some tar paper over there, but I guess the sill is just going to abut right to that surface right there. As it will abut to this side right over there. Um, what I'm wondering about is, is it okay to fill, I'm going to try to move this a little bit here. Is it okay to fill this crack here or this well, I'm going to back it up a little bit. So this is the area right behind the cedar shingles. There's some Tyvek in here. And then there's just this open sort of cavity right here. So I guess what I'm wondering is, can I fill that up with expanding foam without blowing these shingles outward? Because um, it would be nice to have just a little bit of insulation there, I guess. And then I'm going to put more insulation under the sill here, I think. Um, you know, just, just to keep it dry and all that. Um, one more question I have is, this trim board on the outside here, as you can see, is fluted or it's notched for water surface tension or something maybe. And I'm wondering because it's rotted out <clears throat> and I'm wondering <clears throat> if I could just replace that with a regular one by four 
uh, without too much trouble. It looks like it's a different kind of piece though. It's like thicker than a 1x4, so it's maybe it's specialty window trim board or something like that. So wouldn't mind your opinion on that one either. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to take some of this board off, I think, and uh, maybe I'll take it over to Lowe's and match it up to them. But I just don't remember seeing a board like that over there, so we'll see. Now my concern now is that uh, this board here, which looks like brick molding or something, I think it's actually attached to the window. I mean, there's a there's a little groove right there that fits into this piece of wood. So since this is also rotten, I was gonna try to pull it away, but it's like I'm peeling layer after layer and I'm concerned that this whole window is gonna get shot if I screw with it too much. So I might just leave this alone for now. Same thing is going on over here though. Plenty of rot right here. And clearly, Clearly this groove fits into this board. So, I mean, it's, it's, looks like it's fastened in, but I don't know if I should take it out or not, because it's just gonna be this plastic bit here left, and I don't know what's under here, and I've, I've already taken apart more than I thought it was going to. Uh, and the other question that remains is, Still don't know what to fasten the sill into. The sill was tied in on the sides by staples. That was done from inside somehow. And there were also um, there were also nails that came out of here out of the apron. Um, but I don't see how those go into the sill, which is at an angle. So the only other thing I can think is that. You know, this goes into the sill, but I don't see what keeps the sill, what keeps the sill from dropping. Um, you know, there's no hard surface it's on. And so it's tricky. I don't know if I have to like shim the whole thing up or something like that. But I don't know, for now I might just leave it alone until Friday and just work on the other easier windows. <clears throat>